Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Oh, God. <laughs> this fucking game already. This fucking game is absolutely fucking ridiculous already. Um, I am playing Space Colony. I'm about halfway through, um, I'm about halfway through all of the scenarios in Sim Life. Yeah, uh, and so I figured to celebrate I would try out a new game. And, and this is a game that I, I, I've seen a few times while, whilst browsing Whilst browsing good old games, good old games, which is of course my favorite place to get games because I, I don't know, I, I hate, old, I hate new games, I hate current games, I only like games that are old. And I realize that good old games, like half the games these days are just like indie games and shit, but I like how good old games, there's no DRM on any of the games. I'm pretty sure that's one of the deals uh, that they got going on these days. Oh, there's Henry, he's meowing at me again. No, don't you dare, don't you dare, Henry. You stay down there. You stay down there on the ground, don't you? Okay, so here's the deal. Henry is, Henry is constantly, constantly trying to jump up into my lap while I'm wearing basketball shorts. All right, it's true. I'm wearing basketball shorts right now. Henry loves, when every time I'm wearing basketball shorts, Henry loves to jump up onto my lap because he loves the way my basketball shorts feel on his paws. You know, and yeah, I can't blame him. I can't blame him at all. I mean, basketball shorts feel good on my dick. So, I mean, certainly they would feel good on his paws, right? So it's not a problem, you know? I don't mind making Henry, and Henry, of course, is my morbidly obese tabby cat. Um, so I do not mind having Henry on my lap uh, because, you know, he's a morbidly obese tabby cat who doesn't love morbidly obese tabby cats. I know I do, but the problem is, I mean, of course, there's the problem of having a morbidly obese cat that weighs about 379 pounds um, crushing my genitals uh, with his with his heavy rolls and his sweaty breasts. Um, but, you know, that's a whole other matter entirely. The really, really big problem with Henry jumping up on my lap is he makes biscuits in my shorts. He makes biscuits in my basketball shorts, which if, if you're not a cat owner, making biscuits means he just repeatedly digs his claws. He massages, he like massages like my shorts, for instance, with his claws, and he just digs his claws into my flesh. And it's like, oh my God, it's, you know, it's not, it's not like he's ripping the flesh from my bones. It's just, it, it hurts. It's uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't, he makes holes. Like all of my basketball shorts have holes in them because of where his claws were. And I don't like it. So when Henry tries to jump up in my lap, which of course is cruelly only when I'm wearing basketball shorts, I say, no, you weigh 379 pounds. You have the talons of a buzzard. And, and, and I'm not, I'm not inviting you to sit on my lap. The last thing I want is a 379 pound buzzard. I'm digging its sharp, cruel talons into my soft, uh, pasty white, uh, upper thigh area. So, um, what was I doing again? Space colony. There we go. God. <laughs> of course, Henry chooses the absolute second that I start playing. So space colony, like I said, um, I've wanted to play this for a long time. It's like 10 bucks on good old games, which is about as much as I will ever p pay for a video game. Um, so yeah, so let's go, let's go for it. I've never, I've literally, this is literally the first time I've even turned it on yet. I haven't even created a user yet. So I'm gonna create a user as we're sitting here uh, basking in the warm glow of that uh, spaceship that's just kind of floating. And of course we've got igloos. We are on planet, we are on planet Antarctica where there are nothing but igloos. It's like Antarctica in the year. Oh, hello, buddy. There we go. And that's what, that's what, um, that's what albatrosses are gonna look like uh, in the year 6969. So here we are in the year 6969 um, in, um, or I'm, I apologize. It's not, it's not Antarctica. It's the North Pole, obviously. There are no igloos in Antarctica. So, so because we are, uh, because this is taking place at the North Pole, I think it's more than appropriate to name my character. <laughs> my name will be Santa Claus. <laughs> Should I be Santa Claus? Do I dare be Santa Claus? This is the name that I'm going to be stuck with for the rest of the playthrough. Do I want to be Santa Claus? I am quite jolly, I will admit that. I am quite jolly, and this game does take place at the North Pole. Um, and maybe maybe later on in the game I'll have the option to uh, to recruit elves to join in my Jolly Workshop games. Okay, perfect, I'll be Santa Claus. I'm pretty happy with that. 
So we've got easy mode, good introduction to Space Colony. That would probably be best for me because I've never fucking played this game before in my life. Normal mode, a more challenging setting, certainly not. And of course, flying, floating hover skull mode. Try it if you dare. I think I will stick with easy mode. Thank you very much. Let's see here, let me try hitting these buttons one more time. Of course, they do nothing. Oh, and of course, before uh, we get started, the beverage du session, in case any of you were wondering, the store brand Diet Coke. Mm. Oh, let me, let, me just, let me just enjoy this beautiful background music as I take a sip on my cold, refreshing store brand Diet Coke. Mm. Oh, my. <laughs> I accidentally, I accidentally, I accidentally got a few drops of store brand Diet Coke on my keyboard. I'm sorry, keyboard. Sorry, keyboard, but, um, but yeah. I, of course, chose store brand Diet Coke because we're going to be playing in a space colony. And, of course, uh, store brand Diet Coke has an astronomical taste uh, that is out of this world and is guaranteed to, to send you to the moon and back with flavor. So, here we go. Santa Claus, big jolly Santa Claus, the year 6969, post-apocalyptic North Pole. Here we go. Easy mode. Okay, there we go. That's that's me. That's Space Santa slowly emerging from his Fallout igloo. What? Exit, play, tutorial, settings, editors, credits. Settings? Video options? 1920. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, no. Go back. Oh, I should have never clicked. Scroll, scroll spread normal. Whatever. Back. Scroll spread. <laughs> Select MP3s? Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh my god, you can do... Whoa! Whoa, you can put your own MP3s in there! Whoa! That is neat! That is neat, but no, I, I am... I No, I'm not gonna do it, though. <laughs> I'm, af I'm, afraid of, I'm afraid of what it might pull up. Let's see here. I, I don't think you guys need to know uh, how, many, how many Dolly Parton albums I have on my computer. I, I'm sorry, guys. Editors? Credits, space colony, igloo, some kind of floating astro iceberg, tutorial. We could do tutorial. Wait, what other settings were there? Change identity, sound options back. Should we do the tutorial? I've literally never played this game before in my life. We we better do the fucking tutorial. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're in the tutorial. Oh, this tutorial will teach you the basics of colony life. You can leave at any time by clicking on the options icon highlighted above. Options icon is the wrench. Okay, beautiful. All right, how do I build candy canes? Where, when will the candy canes show up? I want the candy canes. This is the inside of the bridge. Bridge. Here you control Doesn't the look bases like a power, oxygen, and medical facilities. Oh, this is the bridge. Okay, I get it. Medical with the crosses, power uh, with the Shazam lightning bolts, and oxygen uh, with... Uh, Oh, two. Oh, there we go. I thought that was like the male symbol for a split second. Like the circle with the arrow sticking out of it. I had to think carefully for a second or two. This is oh, the man, these graphics are system. nice! When an operative is working on the control desk, oxygen will flow into your base. Okay, all right. We, we, I do appreciate oxygen. It's very nice. Oh, here we go. Oh! This is a solar power collector. When an operative is working the desk, power uh. will flow into the base. Oh, too much store brand Diet Coke. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry for my obscenity. The biodome is a large biodome into which you place the furniture and facilities that enable your colonists to survive in space. Let's meet a colonist. Biodome. Oh my God, who is it? Who's the colonist? Who's the colonist? Is it going to be? Is it going to be who I think it is? Personal shuttle arriving. That spaceship contains Venus. Venus. Our heroine. Oh, that's not who I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be Andy Dick. Damn it! You are going to meet in this story. She is the one who just might get you through it all. Okay, and thank you, Venus. You know, it's ironic that Venus is a woman because Venus actually rhymes with penis, and penis are, of course, the genitalia that men have. I wonder if Santa has a penis. Do you guys hey. think Santa has a penis? Let me know in the comments section how big you think Santa's penis is. Uh, I've never really thought about Santa's penis before. I mean, you know, I will be RPing as Santa Claus for the remainder of this um, of this playthrough. So I guess really the my penis can be as big as I want it to be. But uh, uh, 980 credits. Oh shit! Was I just rewarded for fantasizing about Santa Claus's penis? Uh, your yeah. Your base currently has plenty of oxygen. Sure. But your power is getting a little low. Uh oh. You need to tell Venus to go and work at the power desk. Venus! Left click on Venus, and then left click on the power desk. Venus! Go to the power desk! 
Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. That's my, that's a horrible Santa Claus impression. I'm sorry, Venus, what is wrong with your face? Power desk, power desk. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem, yeah. Okay, let's no problem, sir. Venus I'm fucking Santa her. Claus. We need to I am the, the reason screen. for the season. Let's click on the bridge button. Click on the bridge button. This is the bridge button? Go to bridge. That's better. Your power bar is now rising. The power bar is now rising. Power bar. Aren't those Great. man, my brother used to power eat power start. bars. He he was uh he was he did a lot of um again or press the right mouse. He did a lot of sports when we were in school. He was like he was like a total fucking athlete when we were in school. And uh power bars. He would eat power bars all the time. And, uh, and I never, I remember I always wanted to have power bars of my own, but I wasn't allowed because I wasn't an athlete. <laughs> and, and you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that they didn't let me eat power bars because power bars are like 69,000 calories in each power bar. And, uh, I don't know. I guess I, I wanted to eat them because I thought, like, it would give me, like, major zip and major vitality to, like, I don't know, watch the Angry Beavers or whatever. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't getting into a whole lot when, when, when I was, when I was a kid. Uh, we now have some power stored to leave the bridge, click on the bridge button again, or press the right mouse button. I'm gonna press the right mouse- wait, what happens if I click on that? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I don't think I can select any of these yet. I am so sleepy. Uh, so sleepy, so sleepy. Like Continue, sure, sure. On the bed icon. On the bed icon, huh? Now left Furniture. On the picture of the bed, and move your cursor over the biodome. When the bed appears in the dome, Left click again to place oh. it. Oh. Can I rotate it? What if I put it here? Oh man, Santa. Santa Claus, you're you're a tricky bitch. You're a tricky bitch, Great. Santa Claus. Now we need to assign Venus. Old Saint to the bed Old you Saint placed. Bitulus. Left click on Venus, then left click again on the bed. Alright, I got it. Venus, it's bedtime. It's bedtime, oh, Venus. Time, time to hit the, the old hay. Let's take a look at one of her needs. In Santa case, her needs says, sleep. "Lights Once out, Venus." Bed, we should see it start to rise. Oh, you just walked around it. While Venus is dealing with her need for sleep, I was gonna have it be like a cruel and ironic punishment. Like the bed is right in front of her, and all she wants is to sleep. But because the bed is blocking the doorway, she can't actually get to the bed. I guess she could probably like do a cartwheel down the hall and like launch herself onto the bed. What the hell is going on? While Venus is dealing with her need for sleep, let's see what effect these needs have on her, and consequently on your ability to run the base. A right. colonist's happiness rating. Is a the colonist's key of the game. happiness. It tells us how long they will work for us. <laughs> It is translated into their work shift as shown oh, by the colored man. section of the work clock. While the clock hand is in the colored area, she will go and the work. Colored clocks. area. When what? it is outside of that area. That's, that's a little politically incorrect. I'm sorry. Now, I'm sorry, let's Space Colony HD. I have brought to you by Good Old Games. Games. You so know, another great thing about for. Good Old Games is that I never, never, ever, ever, I have never had any trouble recording. Any game from good old games. It's always great. Like, I just, I don't even have to do game capture. I just do monitor capture, and the monitor capture captures everything. It's perfect. It's great. I love it. I wish I knew enough about computers to understand what it is about good old games games that do that, but, but at the same time, I, I really don't care at all. <laughs> While the clock hand is in the colored area, she will tend to her personal needs. Now let's try to increase her happiness. I happen to know she likes to dance, so let's place a disco for her. Oh shit! Left click on the entertainment. Santa screen. wants to boogie now, down. Left click on the picture of the disco. And uh -huh. move your cursor disco. over the bio dome. Disco. When the disco appears in the dome, left click again to place it. What if I put it? Can I put it here? Oh yeah, I'll now, put it right in the corner. Left click on Venus. So is that is a disco corner disco for you, Miss Venus? Her, 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 Frau, Frau Venus. Frau Venus? Oh, you! Venus! Go- go to your Jeez. disco! Go to your disco, Venus. This is Santa Claus's another- Santa Claus, of course, is famous for his cruel and ironic While punishments. The disco I'm the first cruel thing. and ironic punishment- Ooh! Will fill up. Hubba hubba. I'm like um, the first needs. cruel and ironic punishment, Great. of course, is placing the bed in front Venus's of the door to the biodome. And of course, the second cruel punishment is uh, whenever I'm displeased by Venus, I send her to the disco corner where she dances away her Let's final remaining hours. Uh-huh. 
Let's look at some of the other areas that this affect is Venus's, Venus's salary bar. Salary time bar. Time, she would go to a cash machine, cash and, machine and withdraw her salary. You can set her salary level in the bridge. Okay, this is I get Venus's it. Social interaction bar. All right. They can get lonely in space. Sure. And to maintain their sanity, operatives need to talk to a human face. Human faces. This human feces, huh? An operative talks to one I know. I need to talk to human feces warn, however, every once in a while. Santa Claus, of course, is um, one of the things that you don't see publicized a lot about Santa Claus because I think he, he tries really hard to keep it out of the paper is Santa Claus is famous for uh, talking to shit. He loves to just scoop up, like, it, when his wife takes a shit in the toilet, Santa Claus will be like, ho, 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 honey, wait a second, don't flush. Don't flush, let Santa, let me do a Santa scoop, and I'll Santa scoop your poop. Let me do a Santa poop and scoop and scoop your turds out of the toilet bowl. Ho, ho, ho. And then Santa Claus just, and then Mrs. Claus is always like, Santa, for God's sake, quit scooping the poop. Where are you taking all these poops? And Santa will be like, and Santa will like put his finger on his nose, you know, like, like you do in charades to tell him that she's close to something. But like, he's got shit all over his finger, so he just winds up smearing shit all over his nose. And he just like laughs like, oh, 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 oh. And he just walks out into a blizzard and he doesn't come back for like three or four days at a time after that. <laughs> It's really fucked up. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, bad relationship, negative food consequences, bar. food bar, no sure, sure, sure. Need for personal, personal hygiene, hygiene. shower block. Health, bar. health. injured or sick, or sick, let's try to avoid that. Go crazy if I don't speak to someone soon. Oh, really? This could really use someone to talk to. So we will operative stick. Okay, operative stick, come on down. Come, come to the, come to the open arms of Santa. Of Center Klaus. Center Klaus himself is is uh is opening up his big flabby arms me santa as sue santa to venus to talk to stig left click on venus and left click on venus left click on stig all right ah there you are oh there you are hey stig a friend stig and venus are now going to meet each other the simple friend oh she's dreaming of cheeseburgers i know what you're dreaming i i i understand venus for social interaction yeah yeah, you go up, you see you see a big beautiful man, you want to talk to the man, but all you can do is think about cheeseburgers. It happens to me every single day of the week. Like every the time eats. I try and ask Next, a beautiful boy out on food, a date, I'm just steak. like, beautiful boy, will you go food. on a this cheeseburger with me? I mean, date! And then the boy is like, needs. oh my god, you are so fucking disgusting. And then he just throws up all over my body and I'm like, oh boy. Well, at least I still have this cheeseburger. Because I had a cheeseburger just kind of like, uh, just kind of like taped. Uh, I had a cheeseburger just kind of like Velcroed to my, to my abdomen, to my shirt. I have like a little Velcro cross on my shirt. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this on me before. Uh, but I've got a little Velcro cross. And uh, every morning, the first thing that I do, like some people will like pour themselves a cup of coffee. What I do is I take Velcro strips and I put Velcro strips on, a, on, a, on the bottom of a hamburger bun. And then I, I, I Velcro the hamburger bun to my chest, and then I build the rest of the burger on top of that. So that way I have a, a hamburger on my chest for every time that I'm hungry. So of course, whenever I ask a beautiful boy out on a date and he throws up all over me, of course the vomit gets all over the shirt. What makes it, it, it makes it kind of hard to eat the cheeseburger because the cheeseburger is like inundated with vomit at that point. But I mean, you know, I, if I'm not going out on a date, I got nothing better to do. If I'm not going out on a date with a beautiful boy like Stig, I got nothing- Oh my god, and look at those sweet Oakleys. If I'm not going out on a date with a beautiful boy like Stig, I got nothing better to do than um, sit down and, and eat a, a cheeseburger that's dripping with vomit. Uh, the vomit of a stranger. 